Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another Feature Friday. That's right, it's Friday. The weekend is here. Camping is like three weeks away. I am going to take you for a tour of this 290 RLS. I forgot what I was giving you guys a tour of. So before we move, I'm going to point out on this side, you'll see we do have a campsite slide. So we actually have two awnings to give you additional sun cover. And both of those awnings are electric. They have LED lights in them. We've got the solid steps. And then I actually want to show you both sides of the pass-through storage. So as you see, you've got a lot of pass-through storage up here. You also have the ability to have a TV out here. This is the key TV system. So in the olden days, I say olden days, a few years ago, when you hooked a uh, cable or satellite to the camper, all the TVs had to watch the same thing. Now with the key TV, everybody can watch something different. So you can be out here watching the game or whatever. Somebody can be watching cartoons or something inside. Let's go look at the other side. So in here is your outside command central. And I want to point out, you do have an outdoor shower out here. So that would be great for washing your feet off. You got sand on your feet or whatever, or your pets, or maybe a dirty kid. You can also do all of your winterization from right here, which is super nice, makes it easy, battery disconnect, everything. But then you also have your tank control. So this is where you flush your black, or where you dump your gray and black tank and your ability to flush it. And then a little feature that I forget to point out a lot is that little dial right there will come out. All your hoses and stuff can come up through there. And then you can close this off while you're at the campground. It looks nice and neat and pretty. Let's check out the back. So here on the back, we do have a ladder, so it is a fully walkable roof. That's gonna make it super easy to clean it, maintain it, make sure your seals and everything are good. You are also backup camera prepped, and they make those things super nice and easy now. You buy the backup camera, you pop it in place, you're good to go. What's really cool about those is I call them backup cameras, but they really should be called observation cameras because when you're going down the road, you can actually kick on the screen and see what's behind you. If you're towing something, you can check on that. But it's also nice if you don't feel comfortable with your side view mirrors, you can actually see if it's safe to get over uh, in your lane. So let's go check out the inside. Okay, so I'm starting at the back of the unit, which is our living area. It's a rear living camper. So you're gonna see that we have our theater seats. These do recline. They do have cup holders as well as heat and massage, which is super nice. We have our sleeper sofa back here, jackknife sofa, sorry. So that will fold out to a bed so you can accommodate additional guests and stuff. And they do have end tables on both sides with charging and USB charging. Then centrally located, we've got a nice big TV. We've got our CD, DVD, Blu-ray player, uh, Bluetooth also, so you can connect your phone to it. I do it all the time, set it out by the campfire kick those outside speakers on. You can even share it with friends and let them do a little playlist. You've got a nice big electric fireplace. Very important to remember, it is electric, so it's not costing you anything to run. This early season camping that we're getting ready to come into when it's a little chilly but you still wanna go camping, that is perfect to take the chill out of the air in the camper. It's cozy, it's nice. I won't have a camper anymore without a fireplace. I just absolutely love them. Making our way into the kitchen, you'll see we've got a nice big kitchen island that's got a 50-50 stainless steel sink, and you do have the detachable sprayer, so you can spray the kids or the wife or the husband or whoever, but nice for doing the dishes and stuff. You do have a lot of cabinet space underneath there for storage, and then over here, we've got a residential-sized microwave, and you see we've got a lot of cabinets and stuff. We've got our three burner stove, and this actually will fold back and act as a backsplash. Cabinets on both sides there, and they've even went as far as to include charging ports here. So when you don't want to look at that, you put it down like that, but when you need charging here, maybe you're, I don't know, got some kind of a blender or something, you need some power, you've got it. You're like, Dan, where's the fridge at? This camper doesn't have a fridge. It's right here. They've done a really nice job of blending this in, but it's actually a double-sized refrigerator and freezer. So you're not gonna have trouble if you're going on a long extended vacation in this camper, or you've just got a lot of rugrats that you gotta feed, piece of cake. 
Dry storage, you've got plenty of space for dry storage, as well as if you wanna keep extra pillows and blankets and board games and all that. Then you have a nice little breakfast bar area, I guess is what you would call it. Uh, but you could keep your Keurig here, you could keep your margarita maker here. I'm sure Greer's thinking, yeah. But you keep your margarita maker here and again, more cabinets and stuff. So now we're gonna work our way up to the bathroom and the bedroom. The bathroom, Cougar did a really nice job this year, I think, with the clear glass because this is a big bathroom, but it feels even bigger because of that clear glass. You've got a nice sit down shower, which is great for ladies to shave your legs and stuff, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I have a sit down shower in my camper and I love to sit down there and just continue my theme of relaxing at the end of the day. Toilet, of course. You've got a cabinet there for your uh, toiletries, your towels, all that good stuff. Nice big medicine cabinet, sink, and then you've got drawers and cabinets below your sink for additional storage. So all in all, a really big bathroom. Then as we come in here to the bedroom, you see we've got our queen size bed. It does have storage underneath the bed. And then we also have a really large closet over here with drawers as well as a place to hang clothes. I don't know why you would need to take anything to hang, but you're camping. You've got nightstands on both sides and both sides actually have drawers so you can hide snacks or let's say you need a CPAP machine, you could actually tuck the CPAP machine away during the day, keep this all nice and clean. His and hers closets on both sides. And then directly across from the TV, we do have a mounting bracket in the back of the wall so you can mount a TV back here. If you need to get away and get a little privacy from the family, you can sneak back here and lay down on the bed and relax. And you do also have a blackout shade for this. So you don't have to worry about that sun beating down on your face first thing in the morning and waking you up. You can always sleep in a little bit. So guys, there you have it. Another feature Friday. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below. Have a fantastic weekend. And remember, camping season is only a few weeks away. Mm -hmm.